If you can get past its poor fuel consumption, the 2023 Nissan Armada offers a comfortable ride, spacious cabin and confident handling for less than its drivers. What kind of car is Nissan Armada 2023? The Armada is a full-size SUV with three rows of seats and off-road capability, if you need it. Buy it against the more expensive Chevy Tahoe, Ford Expedition and Infiniti QX80. The Armada has the interior and is pricier compared to its rivals, but give it a shot, it's a heavy, thirsty beast. It gets a TCC rating of 5.6 out of 10. What's new for the 2023 Nissan Armada? The Armada will continue from 2023 without significant changes except for Amazon Alexa compatibility in all but the main model. The S, SV, SL and Platinum trims return, all closely related to the dressier, and more expensive, Infiniti QX80. The family resemblance is evident, although the Nissan version has a front end with a chrome-framed grille and large C-clamp headlights. In profile, its curvaceous side dates back to the decade, although the sharp tail light combined with a small piece of bright work makes it fresh at the tail end. Inside, it's almost indistinguishable from the Infiniti, at least until you start touching things. The large screen above the dash allows for easy customization of controls and lots of faux wood. Do you want a good one? Buy an Infiniti, but spend a lot of money. The 5.6-liter V8 drives 400 horsepower to the rear or all four wheels through a 7-speed automatic transmission. The Armada rides well with its fully independent suspension, and its on-road power is good for such a beast. The tight steering suggests sporty handling, but the SUV doesn't feel too heavy. It's pretty quick and can tow up to 8,500 kilograms with confidence, but you'll find the gas gauge running empty. Look for 15 miles per gallon with four-wheel drive. Armada offers ample interior space, especially in the front and middle rows, and can accommodate eight passengers in total. The third row is short against some competitors, but it can still accommodate teenagers. Crash tests are incomplete, although Nissan does a good job of integrating a number of anti-collision technologies into all models. How much does the 2023 Nissan Armada cost? The 2023 Armada starts at $52,095 including a destination charge of $1,695. For cars, add $3,000 to the entire lineup, including the first and above platinum trim. The base S has 18-inch alloy wheels, a 12.3-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto, keys, and seats. For about $5,400 more, the SV adds synthetic leather with heated seats, wireless phone charging, and two more speakers. It is the best by ear. Nissan Armada 2023 Nissan Armada 2023 announces its car model. There's a lot going on, that's for sure. We don't think the 2023 Armada is as refined as its competitors inside or out. It is 5 for the model. Updates for 2021 brought the front and back, but little changed the look that has been around for 10 years. The V-shaped headlights at the front link the Armada to other Nissan models, and it works well with the headlights that capture the front fascia. From the side, however, the Armada shows its fatness. It is flexible at the back, with small tail lights and typefaces with holes in many places. Inside, the dash features a Corvette style with lots of faux wood. The 12.3-inch touchscreen sits comfortably above the conventional console. The Platinum version adds leather, if you're willing to spend the money. Nissan Armada 2023 Performance The 2023 Nissan Armada offers confident towing and maneuvering capabilities. With a powerful V8 and a comfortable ride, the Nissan Armada is a great cruiser as long as you don't mind rough roads, or fuel economy. We give it two points for its soft power and towing power, but remember one for its power performance. It is six for performance. Is the Nissan Armada 4WD? A four-wheel drive system with lower limits is a $3,000 option. Otherwise, it's a backwards drive. How fast is the Nissan Armada? The 5.6-liter V8 develops 400 horsepower and offers a muscular ride that works well with a 7-speed automatic transmission. The refined engine helps give the Armada a better driving experience than its nameplate would suggest. It's not very fast, but it's strong and can confidently tow an 8,500-pound trailer. The fully independent suspension is also fairly aggressive, though it's better with the 18-inch alloy wheels than with the 20 and 22-inch options. Break off the road with these awesome little wheel options, if that's your thing. Armada's handling is unimpressive, although the steering itself has good weight and response. You don't have to do much to win. The comfort and convenience of the 2023 Nissan Armada. 
a large front seat, a good second row and a large load raised the Nissan Armada 2023-8 to for comfort. Cloth is standard, a synthetic leather option, and Nissan offers two grades of good coverage as you move forward and closer. All models have adjustable front seats that are comfortable but light and supportive. The second row offers an impressive 41 inches of legroom once you get in. A single executive chair with a separate console is optional, reducing the total number of seats from 8 to 7. The third row is good for teenagers or children, it's not roomy like Tahoe or travel. Armadas offer nearly 17 cubic feet behind the third row, which expands to nearly 50 cubic feet with the third row folded and up to 95 cubic feet. Sharing much of its design with the QX80, the Armada feels very comfortable inside. Of course, the wood trim may not be available, but we can't complain at these prices. He falls falling near the nearest of Armada. We cannot say that something is clear since it's not that the IHSS are tested. The 2023 Nissan Armada has mass on its side, however. Even the lightest weighs almost 5,700 kilograms. All have automatic emergency braking, an automatic trunk, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, active lane control and front and rear parking sensors. A panoramic camera and rear camera mirror are optional. Features of the 2023 Nissan Armada No car over $50,000 is a good deal, but the Nissan Armada comes close. This SUV packs a lot into its S trim level, while the top SV level is slightly higher and adds a lot of niceties. We recommend the 2023 Armada with an 8 out of 10 thanks to a good standard price, reasonable options, and a large touchscreen. The S comes with 18-inch alloy wheels, adjustable front seats, a 12.3-inch touchscreen wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto, navigation and automatic climate control, and several collision avoidance features. Its only peculiarity is that its audio system comes with only four speakers. They are working hard to fill the sound booth. The base Armada S is $52,095, while the four-wheel drive is another $3,000. A three-year slash 36,000 warranty is standard. Which Nissan Armada should I buy? It's worth considering the SV for around $4,500 more, or $56,645 at reporting time. It adds headlights, rear and side windows, synthetic leather trim, heated front seats, wireless phone charging, a parking door opener and trailer brake control, and other speakers with Amazon Alexa compatibility. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you. Comment down what next review you guys want. See you guys in next video and thanks for watching.